What's up everybody, Vin here from Vin Vips and happy 2016, it is January the 1st. Up quite late last night, was going to do these yesterday but I was quite busy yesterday obviously being New Year's Eve and things so I kind of pushed them back, I thought it would be a good way to break in 2016. So, we're going to check out these liquids today which have came from California. They've got some fast shipping over in California because California turns up, everything else has seemed to be getting blocked by customs for some reason but California, straight through. Don't know, don't know if it's something to put on customs or what. So we're going to check out Hipster Vape Co. So the Hipster Vape Company, nice little packaging. You'd probably be familiar with the packaging because we checked out a company called YOLO and it's under the same distribution. So YOLO came, this is the other company, Hipster, which we did mention in that video. It comes in a nice little box which had some nice wrapping. Inside this box we have, it's like Christmas every day, it's fantastic. Inside this box, we've got Bola, which we're going to check out. We have Fixie, which we're going to check. Put that there. Smells lovely, that Fixie. We do have a Dicky Bull inside there. Now, these are all 30ml Max Fiji juices. We have Stash. And we do have Costello. So we're going to review these all today in one video. <coughs> so it's going to be a little bit long. And inside there you get some nice kind of funky shredded paper. We do have the business card, basically, for Fip Right Wholesales, who are distributing. We have a little card that tells us what it is. It doesn't go into too much details, but it basically tells us the description we're going to Occasionally have a look at that during the review. We have Vape Right Wholesales, once again, so if you ever want to kind of import these into your shops, let me know. I'll send you all the details over. And we have another funky, funky stick on. Check that one out. Mustache taste, the little logos to all the bottles. So, really, really looking forward to checking these out. These have been sitting on the shelf, kind of taunting me as such, because, <clears throat> as you know, we're all about the liquids here, and I just want to kind of let you know what's out there, what's available. And they've been sitting there going, Please review me, and I'm like, yeah, I will. So the first one we're going to take a look at. <coughs> I do apologize. Kind of crazy throat this morning. So the first one we're going to have a look at is going to be the first on the list, which is Bola. So these are three milligrams of nicotine, thirty mils. I'm not too sure of the price. I will find out if you need to know. It has all the batch numbers. They have really nice kind of bottles going on there. Really nice unicorn bottles. So we're going to check this out. Really looking forward to it. So let's just open that. Have a quick smell. Hmm. It smells like hazelnut. Definitely, I'm, I'm definitely picking up a hazelnut. It is a nut. I think that's definitely a hazelnut. It smells really nice. Now I know there is a hazelnut cake or a pancake. It might be a waffle. I think it's a waffle. Is it a hazelnut waffle? It smells fantastic. It's definitely a, it's definitely a pancake sitting in like a breakfast vape. Sitting in the background there with what smells like crushed hazelnuts. That's what I'm picking up. Or maybe is it a pecan? It might be a hazelnut or a pecan. It smells absolutely fantastic. So we're going to have a drip. I love these. Look at that little stubby little kind of drip tip on top of there. These are fantastic balls, especially to carry around. So we're going to use our iStick 100 and we're going to use our 13 Hells. 13 heavens, 9 hells, RDA. Let's get that soaked in, because it is Max Fiji, so it will take a little bit of soak in. It's just kind of sitting there on top of my cotton right now. Oh, and it's rolling up the side. Yes! So that is fixed stuff. Really, really fixed stuff. Nice little bottle to kind of drip with, though. So I hope you all had a great night last night. Let's just put Bola there. As I did. Let's have a fib on this, shall we? So, let's just kick that into... Yeah, we'll kick it off at 60 watts, why not? 0.36 ohms, 4.6 volts. And we're kicking it off at 60 watts. So this is Bola, let's have a favor of this. That is smooth. That is a nice fib. Really nice fear that is. Mm. 
That is absolutely fantastic. I really like the peanut to this one. So, what you're getting is, it reminds me very much, when I spent, when I was younger I went to America and I had pancakes when I was in America. And I had pancakes in the morning. It was a stack of pancakes about that and it had maple syrup on there, freshly crushed. It was, I think at the time then, it was French, freshly crushed. I think it was pecan nuts, which we had on many, many years ago. That's what this tastes like. This tastes fantastic. You are getting a really nice fape off that. Really tasty fape. Beautifully, beautifully done. You've got this really nice, like I say, it's a really nice kind of hazelnut sits on top of the, all the way through. Really nice hazelnut flavor all the way through. On the back end of that, you're getting kind of what is it, like a dough? Like a, like a pastry dough sitting on the back end, giving it this kind of nice fluffy cake texture to it. Really nice. Let's have a quick look what that is, actually. So we're gonna hide the rest of them. So Bola, it's a nutty waffle, so that's what it is. A nutty waffle. So it is a waffle. I would associate it with a pancake though. But that is a fantastic flavour. Really nice up. Really nice. It leaves a really nice taste in your mouth as well. So so far, can't complain. That is absolutely fantastic. So the next we're gonna check out in the list, we're just gonna go and do it in order, is going to be oh, the label's coming off the back of that. We're gonna check out Costello. It's got a nice kind of pinkish kind of tinge to this one. So don't go anyway, we're going to change all the wick and we'll get this faped up. So the next one we're going to have a look at is Costello. So once again, 3 milligrams of nicotine, really nice squeezy balls. I like these balls, keep doing them like this. These are fantastic. So as I said, these came all the way from California. I believe it was California. Is it California? We'll have a look at that later. I think it's California. So we're going to have a look at Costello. And these have got glasses, I'll wear glasses. So. That's going to be fantastic. Let's open that. Let's have a quick smell of this. Whew. That is sharp. That is sharp. It's got my nose buds kind of tingly. There's a lime in this. It's very fruity. There's a lot of other fruits in this. I wonder if this is like a lemonade, like a like a fruit juice lemonade, maybe. Because I can definitely smell what's. I can smell lemon and lime more than any. With a hint of what seems to be a raspberry in there as well. And maybe some of our red fruit sitting in the back. So we're going to have a drip of this anyhow. We'll check this out. So this is going to be Costello. Oh, there goes the lid. Let's get that dripped over the top. Very, very thick, thick constant stuff. This It's like Max VG. It's really, really heavy. It just kind of rolls off the cotton. Is that soaking in now? It smells absolutely fantastic dripping this one. It smells absolutely fantastic. It smells really nice. I think this is going to be definitely a palate cleanser. So let's just put that aside. I'm going to have a fape of Costello. On our 13 Heavens 9 Health. So 60 watts and 0.36 ohms and 4.6 volts. So with this being Max VG, you're going to really need a sub ohm tank or a drip on. Won't be suited for normal tanks. Ooh, that's nice. That is definitely a palate, it definitely wakes up your taste buds. It's definitely a palate cleanser, that. Definitely. That's really nice. It's got a really nice taste for it. So if you're a fan, if you're a fan of citrus flavours, running all the way through this liquid, you can taste lemon and lime. Really nice lemon and lime to it as well. Really smooth. This is tasty. Really refreshing vape. So you get the lemon and lime. Sitting in the back of lemon and lime, I'm picking up flavors such as strawberry. A hint of strawberries in there. Definitely a raspberry sitting in the background, so it's definitely got some red berries sitting behind it. But the baseline to this flavor, which I'm picking up, is definitely the lime, because lime's quite tangy. This would definitely be an all day vape for me. This is absolutely fantastic. So far, the two juices I've tried, absolutely fantastic by Hipster. That is absolutely fantastic. So that, I believe, was Costello. So you're definitely getting this really nice kind of mixed fruit with a lemon and lime kick to it. 
kind of get your taste buds kind of woken up, tingling, really, really nice. So the next one we're going to check out, I believe that's what it was, we'll have a look afterwards. Next one I am going to check out is going to be Dicky Bow. We're going to check out this one, nice little yellow bottle. Let's see what it is, we're going to get the wicks all changed, don't go anywhere, bear it back. Okay, so we're going to check out Dicky Bow. So Dicky Bow tie, pretty much. By the hipster. I do apologize, there is a dog. I don't know if you can pick it up. There's a dog barking in the background now. I've got the window open because these are Max VGs. It is going to fog the hell out of this room, so I've opened the window, but bloody dog going off and off. Sticky bowl. Let's have a quick smell. There's a pineapple in this. I'm picking up a pineapple straight away. There's a lot of tropical fruit sitting in the back end of this one. It's hard to determine. I definitely picked up the pineapple though. It's got something else sitting in there though. Something else sitting in the back end of it. Now I know hips that do tea flavour, so I'm wondering if this has got a tea in it. But not a mint. It's not a mint. But that tropical flavour, the tropical fruits which are blended in this, smell absolutely fantastic. It smells really nice. It smells really nice. It's got a almost like a candy kind of smell to this. There's definitely a tropical fruit in there which I'm familiar of, but I can't pinpoint what it is. It's not mango. Or is it mango? There might be a mango sitting in the back of there. Let's have a vape on it and let's see if we can pull that one out. Let's get this soaked in. Nice yellow colour to it. But there's definitely a pineapple in this. And I'm hoping the pineapple's done well, because I'm not a massive pineapple lover, which you all know of. But that's the beauty of what we do. I could tell you my honest opinions on it. So, we're going to check out the Dicky Bow tie. We're going to have a fape on it. It's definitely a tropical fruit. It smells really nice. But there's definitely something else mixed into that. So, 0.36 ohms, 60 watts, 4.6 volts. I've tasted this flavour out, oh, that was my elbow, I've tasted this flavour before, sitting in the back end, it's definitely a tea. And I think it's a green tea, sitting in the back end of that, I think it's a green tea. But that tropical flavour, running through this liquid, is really nice fit. The pineapple's not as strong as I thought, actually. I and mean, I definitely think it's a pineapple, but there's something else in there. I'm kind of leaning towards a pineapple slash grapefruit flavour running in the background to this. And it's definitely a tea. Sitting behind both of them flavours, running all the way through the middle. So on the inhale, it's really smooth. No irritation whatsoever. So on the inhale, you're getting a kind of a... You can taste the tea running through this. And on the exhale, you're getting that kind of mixed tropical fruit flavour. It's absolutely really pleasant to be fair. These are fantastic juices. These are fantastic juices. I'm curious what that tea is, so we're gonna have a quick look. So this is this is Dicky. So it's Earl Grey tea with tropical fruit. So that's what this is actually is. Now Earl Grey tea. I've never actually had tea because I'm a coffee drinker. But that's nice. Blended together with tropical fruits. That's pretty nice. It's definitely a refreshing vape. You could definitely vape this all day. Really, really pleased with this one so far. These are nice flavours, guys. These are nice flavours. Definitely go check them out for yourself. All the links will be in the description. But that's nice. So next one we're going to have a look at. We've got a choice of two. We've got Stash and we've got Fixie. So we're going to do Stash, I think. That's what we're going to check out. So we'll get this changed. Be right back. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so we're going to have a look at Stash. So... Once again, three milligrams of nicotine. These are all three milligrams of nicotine. I'm gonna have a quick smell of this. Straight away, I'm picking up a peach. And what seems to be a hint. If I concentrate really hard, it seems to be a blueberry sitting in there as well. The peach smells really nice in this. So I'm looking forward to trying this one. It's definitely peach. Peach and blueberry in this. 
but it's a really nice peach. It's not like a ripe fruit peach, but more kind of like a, a toned down peach. It's a strange smell to it. But I've got this already dripped up anyhow, to speed it up, so we're going to kick it off at 60 watts. 0.36 ohms, 4.6 volts. And this is going to be stash, so we're going to have a look at this. Stash, kind of a little tash. This one's different. This is a strange one, this one is for me. The peach in this is like biting into a fresh, juicy, ripe peach. Which is really weird. It is, when you get a fresh peach and you just bite in it and the juice kind of trickles, you know, the, the juice inside it. And that's what I'm getting. I'm getting a really nice, not a kind of a, a sweet concentrated peach, but a ripe peach juice flavor to this. But it's something else. It's definitely, definitely another fruit. I'm definitely thinking it's a blueberry is sitting in the back end of it. But you're definitely getting a ripe, a ripe, a juicy peach flavor to this tone. All the way through it. Running all the way through this is definitely a peach, leaving the nice peach taste in your mouth. But there's something else accompanying in this. Can't speak now. Something else sitting in the back end of this. And I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's a blueberry. That is a nice different take on peach. It's a really nice flavour. So I'm not too sure what this one is. Let's have a quick look. Stash. So stash is a blueberry and it's a peach tea. So it's not... That's weird. It's a tea. It's very refreshing. Very refreshing. Definitely cleanses your palate. It is a nice taste. I would have went with a juicy peach, but it's a peach tea, so there you have it, so there you have it. But that is Stash, really nice. So far this line is out, and it's just outstanding, it's absolutely fantastic. I definitely like this one. I'm not a, I'm not a tea person, but this is absolutely nice, Stash, I would definitely recommend these, definitely recommend these. So the last we're going to check out is going to be Fixie. Now I know what Fixie is, the baseline of Fixie, because I can smell it, even through the ball. It smells of watermelon, so we're going to get the wax all changed, we're going to have a drip on this, we're going to have a fave on it, we're going to talk about it, so don't go anywhere. Okay, so we're going to check out the last one by the Hipster Fape Co. Absolutely fantastic liquids, ever get a chance to check them out, definitely recommend it. Really, really nice liquids. I think you can get them imported into the United Kingdom, I'll have to double check that, but if you can definitely go and get some of these liquids these are absolutely fantastic especially for max vgs if you're a cloud chaser as well the paper production on these is absolutely fantastic so we're going to check out the last one which is fixie this is in the three milligram i've already opened it got it kind of soaking into the wick already because it is really thick stuff but this is oh, this is a fantastic watermelon vape so you're not just getting watermelon in this you're getting strawberry with it as well so you get this kind of really nice Watermelon flavor going all the way through it, like a juicy, sweetie candy watermelon. Then you got the strawberry. I can smell the strawberry sitting behind that. That is absolutely fantastic. I love watermelon. I love watermelon. This smells is so good. It smells good enough to drink. Obviously, I wouldn't advise you drinking it because that would be, well, that would be wrong and it'd probably poison you. But vaping wise, it smells absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna kick it off at. No point at 36 ohms, 4.6 volts, 60 watts. Let's have a vape. Oh, that's just, oh, that is nice. That is nice. That is by far one of the best watermelon vapes I have tried. One of the best. It is absolutely fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. I am absolutely speechless with this one. I'm in heaven, vaping it. What I'm getting off is really smooth, overall really smooth. What you're getting off is you're getting a beautiful watermelon, really fresh, juicy, ripe watermelon, all the way through the liquid as the baseline, running all the way through the middle of it. 
behind that, what you're getting is it's strawberry, really nice fresh strawberry, juicy strawberry sitting on the back end of it. And behind the strawberry, finely, tiny, tiny hint sitting behind the strawberry, I'm picking up a little bit of a pineapple. Really, not strong, nothing any, but this is a fantastic watermelon vape. My watermelon hunt pretty much is over with this one. This one is absolutely fantastic. And that is Fixie. Three milligrams, nice 30 mil bottles. Presentation and customer service. Everyone I spoke to, wonderful job on these liquids, wonderful job. I said he will send for the purpose of this review. Wouldn't have changed my opinion. If I didn't like them, I would tell you that. But these are absolutely outstanding liquids. Definitely ones to check out. Definitely going over to the links. Have a look at yourself. Like I say, if they import to the UK, definitely pick them up. You will not be disappointed. They are absolutely five outstanding liquids. Really, really impressed with them. Love the stickers, love the packaging. Overall, can't complain. Top notch company. Till then, I'm going to fake out a cloud. This is Vixie. This is absolutely really nice stuff.